Well, welcome to another episode of the Be Prepared channel. Yeah, well, yesterday I had uh, tree service guys come out and cut down the tree that was up next to the house. And uh, we got some snow last night. I woke up this morning and it, uh, to my surprise, the ground was covered with a, a skiff of snow. And um, I had uh, tree service guys out here yesterday. They cut down this tree. They chopped it up into nice uh, firewood length logs. There's the top portion of the tree that was next to the, you know, the top of the top of the tree. And um, just wanted to give you guys a quick snapshot of what what it looks like now with the tree missing. And um, also, I mentioned on the blog yesterday that uh, I had uh, cut a little little drainage runoff coming down from my gutter that's right here next to the house. And this is a fairly small portion of roof. Um, it's probably 12 foot long, 10, 12 foot long, where my utility room is off of the back of the house. The utility room being the washer, dryer, that kind of thing. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you, basically all I did was I just took a shovel and dug a small little, a small little trench or runoff right down to the top swale here and trying to redirect some of this runoff into the uh, into the swale. Now, one of the things I recognized as soon as I did this is that I started to realize, well, I'm going to get drainage into this first portion of the swale, but down here, I put a uh, little walk across place in the swale. So the water that's going to drain is probably only going to drain into this first portion of the swale, which means the second portion here is not going to get nearly the water. Also, I noticed as I cleared out some of the wood that I had here next to the, in the center, that the end portion of the swale, I didn't put in enough fill material. So it's not nearly as high as the rest of it. So I'm going to end up adding to that, that portion of the swale. Um, I think probably um, as soon as this melts off a little bit, and um, I'll get that going. And um, I went ahead and moved all this, this wood out of the way here. I just moved, relocated over in front of the shed where I'm going to be running the chipper shredder to, uh, to break that mulch down. But anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick update so you can see the house looks naked without to those trees there. Um, kind of strange, but uh, also kind of refreshing at the same time. So now this opens up this area to start thinking about uh, dwarf variety trees and other th other plants that we're going to be putting in. So uh, now that this tree is gone, now I'm going to have this tree service guy come back out and we're going to have him grind this stump off. And then I've got to think about what I'm going to do with this, this raised bed that's up here next to the house. It's the really old uh, railroad timbers and uh, they are rotted and kind of nasty. So I've got to decide what I'm going to do with them. Um, whether or not I just try to keep, continue to re, reuse them or uh, whether this bed goes away, I haven't decided yet. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for today. I just thought I'd give you guys a quick quick snapshot of uh, what's going on here and uh, we'll get uh, some of this wood relocated into my Hugel culture bed and um, I'll give you guys an update and show you how all that works out. We'll catch you next time.